Dzień dobry people. Today I want to show you how you can turn your gaming PC uh, into a kind of a cloud gaming server, cloud gaming machine. Or I don't know how to call it. Basically, it will allow you to play, uh, to run your games on your gaming PC, but stream it to, to other devices. Like oh, it can be different platforms, different systems. It can be Windows OS, Mac OS, Linux, Steam Link and Raspberry Pi. I can also see here uh, Amazon Fire OS, Google Chrome OS, PlayStation Vita, w Wii U, and LG Web OS, and single board computers. I think this is the Raspberry Pi. So, yeah. So, you will be able to s stream your games uh, to other rooms in your house. And, for example, I, I like to. Uh, run my PC, uh, run my PC. Then I go to to the living room when I ha where I have a TV with a simple basic uh, Office uh, Dell PC with integrated graphic card, and it's hooked to my TV. And I go there. I uh, powering powering uh, my PC, turn it, turning it on and mm, I sit comfy on the couch. I, I'm connecting uh, to my gaming PC via uh, Moonlight and I play games sitting uh, comfy on the couch. It's, it's quite cool and yeah, I like that, to play games like that. Of course, you can share your PC, share your games with your friends uh, who live in other places, uh, in the next house, in the other country, uh, in on the other continent. I have tested that. For example, yeah, I, I live in Poland and my friend just all in one resource he lives in Canada and we connect uh, he connected to my pc he played a uh, few games um, i haven't seen the performance but he said it was surprisingly surprisingly good so yeah if you have a good uh, internet connection uh, you can share your games with your friends uh, this way okay so let's start this because this is not a tutorial this is just me talking gibberish uh, so on the main pc actually you will not have to do much you will well you will have to own nvidia gpu sadly there are options available uh, for AMD cards and probably the other uh, GPU, manuf um, GPU uh, manufacturers it's made by the same guys uh, behind the moonlight it's called sunshine but I haven't tested that so I will leave that uh, leave this uh, for you to test mm, so yeah as I said, on the main PC, uh, you will not have to do much. Uh, you will have to just have a GeForce experience uh, installed. It should come with your uh, driver's installation. And here, uh, go to the settings, go to the shield tab and make sure that game stream is enabled. And while we are here, uh, we can do another thing you can add your desktop to stream uh, to streaming apps and so it will show on your on your list in the moonlight software to do that go here uh, click on add go to your uh, where is it 
see windows uh, system system 32 and it's it's called mst uh, yeah mstsc.exe you can edit that mm, call it i don't know desktop you can add a picture to this like i have it here as you can see i added some pictures so i can so i know this is the desktop and not uh, some strange game this uh, doing that will allow you to run practically any game that you have installed on your PC may it be uh, from Epic from GOG Galaxy or games that are not distributed on any platform like some old games you can run emulators uh, here or if you don't want to share your uh, desktop it will basically uh, act like a remote desktop from Windows doing doing that will uh, act like that if you don't want to do that and for some reason the games not all games are showing up on moonlight on the other device that you will be using to uh, to play on you can add your games here mm, the same way so for example go here uh, origin oh i don't have any origin games epic days gone and yeah here you go so for now you can close uh, geforce experience and uh, on that other pc uh, you will need to install moonlight run it and if it's not uh, finding any pc here uh, then you will need to go back to your main pc type cmd and find your ip of the of your uh, main pc uh, by typing ip config it will show you the connections you have and here is uh, the ip of my pc my local ip copy that or remember that and click here in the moonlight on the pc that will be receiving the game type that uh, ip and it will show up when you first launch uh, when you first connect to your gaming pc like this it will pop up uh, the number and you will have to uh, type this number on your gaming on your main PC so it's a method of authorization so for security reasons so remember remember that number go to your main PC and enter this number here in the pop-up hit connect and for some reason it didn't match so let's try that again 2950 that is correct okay it's connected the padlock over here disappeared so I click here and I see all games that moons, uh, moon, moonlight detected as you can uh, well you, actually you cannot tell but this is not all games I have installed on my system and that's why I used uh, the desktop uh, forgive me I won't connect uh, to my own desktop because it will make a loop and it will crash my uh, system because it's not the brightest idea to connect from one PC to the same PC and look at your desktop yeah if you know what I mean okay so this is for the local area network and if you want to share your 
games, uh, your PC with your friends that live in other regions, uh, other continents even. Then uh, what you need to do is to go to the website called uh, zerotier.com and on the main PC that is running the game you will need to create an account download the zero tier the latest version I guess uh, is the best way best thing to do and it, when you log in on that website you can create you can go to networks and and you can create a, a network like this just click here it will give it some name so feel free to rename this uh, network 2 for example give it a description uh, make it private for security reasons and down here What is my IP? Is this is this the IP? Actually, you know what? First of all, you will need to uh, write down this uh, this ID up here, and on your other PC that is uh, that the one that will uh, use Moonlight you will have to go uh, to your taskbar right click on uh, zero tier zero tier uh, app and join network and type type that ID here click join it it will show up here and uh, you will need to authorize this and why it's okay so it showed me my IP this is the IP that you will need to give to your friend and when your friend joins your network by clicking the join and typing the ID then in moonlight where is it then in moonlight he will need to add PC manually and enter that IP click OK it does nothing to me because I'm I already have that PC connected so yeah but it should work if it doesn't Please let me know. I'll try my best to help you out with this. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, I hope that was interesting and helpful. Uh, yeah. See you in the next video. Bye.